What happened to your school bad boy girl? My biggest bully in middle high school ended up going to prison. Funny thing though, my mom worked in that prison, and they got to know each other. When he got out, he found me and apologized. He later got a job at a local Taco Bell, and whenever I came in he would always add a bunch of free stuff to my order. I haven't seen him in almost two decades, but I know he became a dad. I actually hope he's doing well. Wow that's actually a great ending. He's an eggplant farmer. Literally. Delightfully niche. Shot and killed two fellow students behind a Publix across the road, so now he's in prison. Man even behind a Publix, that's rare f. Drugs. Drugs and brain damage. In middle school there were these twins who were both really cool. They had a band. One did drums while the other sang and played guitar, skated, occasionally got in trouble with the law but for really small things. A few months ago I was taking a bus when I saw them get on. They were clearly homeless and one of them kept whining to the other that he needed his fix. He passed out and his brother half-heartedly puked into his hand. Eventually the bus driver saw one of them I crap you not, stripped down to his boxers to get some non-puke stained clothes on and told them to get the frick off the bus. Told my folks about seeing the twins. Apparently they've been in and out of jail for years. The other guy I did karate with in middle and high school and was a sweet guy who had a bit of a temper and was a bit of a troublemaker. I saw him on the streets. We were both in our mid-twenties but he looked like he was pushing 40. He talked slow. One side of his face trooped even when he smiled and he walked with a limp. I later found out that he was an on and off H addict and had been in enough fights that he was permanently brain damaged. Jeez. Yeah, seeing people like this whenever I step out becomes a reminder for me to not even think about trying all those pills and powders. I'm fairly certain one of the prominent and popular bad girls at my school ended up as a prostitute. A few years after graduation she kept posting about how people should come get massages at this sketchy spa she worked at downtown. She also kept posting about her modeling career, but all the photos were behind a pretty steep paywall, so I'm pretty sure that was P. Anyway, I read in the news one day that this spa she worked at was raided by the cops and the owner was arrested for running a prostitution ring. She suddenly stopped posting after that. Fairly certain. I'm thinking that a jury would find that beyond a reasonable doubt, D. It's funny, in some aspect just about every classmate of mine was a bad kid. Many went on to college or have kids, but many others have struggled. Out of 55, 12 have died. We graduated high school 6 years ago. Alcoholic, missing most, all, his teeth, usually in between jobs and either lawn service or pest control, has custody of his kids cause he's the good parent. She's dead, OD right out of high school. I feel like for a lot of bad boys girls, you get to a point where it's like frick it I probably won't live much longer anyways, so you just get worse and worse until you do finally kick it or find a way to get yourself killed. He got arrested for spray painting a wall and happy ending he went back to school and got into uni. Nice to see a happy ending. Two bad boys, both brothers, a few years apart. The younger one started some sort of legitimate business think Roy from the office, and seems to be doing extremely well. The oldest is literally homeless and constantly begging for money on Facebook. It's really sad. Would be weird if only one of them was a brother. He wasn't the quintessential bad boy but did drugs, drank, got arrested for drugs, total partier, always nice to me and we were friendly but that whole scene just wasn't my thing. That was 1981 and up until 2013 wondered whatever happened to him. Found out my daughter's new boyfriend was his son. I was very relieved to find out that shortly after high school he realized he was going nowhere fast. Cleaned himself up and started a successful business. Thrilled to say that my husband and I share two beautiful grandchildren with he and his wife and I couldn't be more happy about it. That's the best thing I've read in this post. Got a girl pregnant. Abused killed the baby, and he's still in prison 12 plus years. He's not the best younger brother, but what can you do? He moved to California and became an ad film director. His Instagram stream regularly contains pics of him posing with topless models, celebs and fancy cars and bikes. He also has a boat. So, he's living up to his childhood image, I say.
man. I can't help but think he's probably exactly the sort of person people talk about when the Me Too movement was in full swing. School bad boy when I was there was my older brother, drug dealer, played in a metal band, general smartest and butthole. He flunked out of college after two semesters and has been waiting tables since then. He turns 30 this year, and the girl he's dating now is the first one who's stayed with him for more than 6 months. She's super cool, actually, but like 5 years younger than him. They have a couple dogs, smoke a lot of weed, and play a lot of DND. Last I heard from him, he was escalating a feud with his neighbor by putting a plate and a half worth of loose, cooked spaghetti in her mailbox. That ending omg ha ha ha. A rumor went round school that he was messing around with a 13 year old at 16. She fell pregnant. He got done for statutory rape. Her parents pressed charges and he went to juvenile detention. He married her anyway once she was legally able to get married. Although I believe they divorced shortly after. And he became a grandfather at 31. Presumably because the daughter they had also fell pregnant at a really young age. Dang. That's one young gramps. The one that comes to mind forced his ex at gunpoint into his car and then drove to another state. Cops eventually caught up with him and then he shot himself in the car. I feel really bad for the girl. Ouch. We had a couple, myself included. I think there was about 8 in total. I'm all that's left. The rest are dead or incarcerated. I hope you're doing well for yourself. Came from a bad group myself and am now making things better for myself. She was a bit of a goth. Smoked in front of the school. Smoked pot behind the gym. Graduated valedictorian. Went to Stanford on a full ride scholarship. Apparently, just looking at Facebook, he's now a nerdy hipster who frequently donates to various charities. In high school, he was a scene metal kid who had a penchant for beating up his many girlfriends. Not sure how this happened, but there were three bad boys on our football team, all players and all very good looking. They cast, drank, smoked all the time, and were constantly getting laid, or at least telling everyone they were. Right around senior year college they each went through some change and are all now born again Christians. No partying, less cussing, and none of them talk about women in an objectifying way. It's great but kind of unnerving in a way. I was a bad girl, I was very academically gifted, but had a bad home life, so I smoked, cigarettes and weed, drank a fair bit of vodka, basically did everything I could to rebel against authority, I once threw a har of blood on the principal, animal blood, long story, ended up getting kicked out, spent 2 years on the streets with a bad drug habit and surviving through sex work. Had a massive OD turned my life around, worked in transport logistics, now at 30 I'm at university, studying computer science engineering, I'll be 34 when I graduate. Glad to hear you turned your life around, all the best luck to you sis. Not quite the bad boy, actually everyone thought he was goody two shoes, turns out he had some of the worst grades in school, was a serial arsonist, and when he was caught attempted suicide. Haven't heard from him since but he made the news with one of his fires colon. Which one? One became a serial killer. My wife dated him before all that. One's doing life for a contract killing. Three are dead. They were bangers. Two are in mental wards. I was a hood. Banger back in the late 80s early 90s. Grew up in New Mexico. There were very few of us that became productive members of society. I got caught for B and E. Judge gave me a choice. Jail or job core, I took the latter, met my wife shortly after, and she taught me what it means to be a real man, father, human being. I love this one. One bad boy died of a drug overdose in his 20s, leaving a 4 year old son behind. Yet another bad boy moved to the USA, raped at least one 14 year old girl, and has been in prison there for years. One bad boy and one bad girl became pregnant in grade 12 and married the weekend after graduation. They are still together and are fine. Upstanding citizens from everything I've heard. Happy ending. I like the stories where they turn their life around and learn from their mistakes. He's dead. Was always a hothead. Not after spending 3 years in prison. Broken jaw. Shot multiple times etc. He was just bad news. 
He threatened to bomb the school then posted multiple videos on YouTube of him beating freaking the family dog and he kinda disappeared once the police were involved, which was quick. I'm sure he went to a mental wellness facility and I hope he got better because earlier that year he tried starting a fire in the school cafeteria. The dude needed a lot of help, but this was about 10 years ago. That fricked the dog part made me feel strange. What the frick? I know y'all are not going to believe this one, but the bad boy super jack dude, dude ebra, blonde blue eyes jock that got all the women. Well, he's doing gay pee at a professional level these days, so there's that. He's doing fine though, the bad girl that everyone was in love with, not me at the time though, she turned out to be a very sweet person with an abusive dad and that made her be so rebellious and edgy back in high school. Well, she um, she's my ex-wife now, so there's that. She's doing fine though. That escalated quickly. I guess I was bad boy in high school. Two of the girls I dated called me their bad boy phase years later. I thought I was so bad too because I didn't give a crap about anything and broke every rule I thought was stupid. Then I got sent to a school filled with kids way worse than me. My graduating class was around 20, I think. I maintained the same attitude about everything but somehow graduated. I was considered a good kid in that school because I did half my schoolwork and I wasn't shooting up or partying every weekend. Anyway, now I'm closing in on 30. I have a good job. 65k a year, quite a bit in the shithole city I live in, and just bought my dream car. I'm currently sitting on my couch, typing this in an awkward position because my cat decided to go to sleep right where my arm would go. Sorry if that was poorly written, I just did shots with my grandmother over Skype for her birthday. She dropped out of school to travel the world with her, suspected, pimp. She has since gotten her get and is now studying business at some university in Las Vegas. I had a few of them. Some of them are really crazy but one of them seems to have calmed down a bit and I hope he's doing well in life because he kind of deserves some good luck emo. He's a DJ in a nightclub and is a good friend of mine. I used to do his homework and he'd buy me lunch. I managed to get him in my study group so he didn't bully us. But he'd spend most of his time drunk or with girls or getting into fights. He is a good friend of mine as well as the other nerds of the group now. We were in a reunion celebrating 10 years of our graduation like 2 years ago and he invited us to the nightclub where he works and I hated the music but everyone seemed to like it. He got divorced last year though. Not nice. But he's got his crap together so we all cheer him up. Finally something positive. My school's bad boy girl never got traction, but the butthole popular guy is now overweight and balding, and recently hit on my at the gym. I was an awkward band kid, and grew into a very pretty lady. Frick you, Chad. For real, his name is Chad. I'll never understand how parents will look at their newborn child in the eyes and say my beautiful Chad, much less tell their family this is my adorable Chad. Bad boy is now manning the front desk of the local dry cleaner. Bad girl got married, got divorced and is desperately trying to get married again but, everyone is taking a bite, but nobody is buying. Well the school S is now a nurse in Austin, TX, she did well for herself. As for the bad boy, he is still in law school at the University of Virginia. I just realized that I'm nowhere near as successful as them and I feel sad now. I mean, if you're happy with what you're doing, there's no reason to be sad. It's got a competition and none of us are getting out of here alive no matter what our job titles or how successful we are. And if you're not happy with what you're doing, well, it's never too late work on that. He got a girlfriend. Girlfriend dumped him because he got into too much trouble. Then started a gang that said no to relationships until they get to high school. I think it's hilarious. We had a few criminals and crap heads and for the most part they turned out the way you'd imagine. But in terms of bad boys, there was one guy who you could say fit the mold. He never followed the rules, always but heads with authority, smoked weed every morning before school, got a full tattoo sleeve by 16, but for the most part was kinda well liked by his peers. He ended up dropping out of school, getting kicked out of his parents house and selling weed while being homeless. After that he got heavily involved in a local church and did a complete 180 that shocked everyone. 
We're talking complete sobriety, mellow attitude, and getting his ged. He continued to be involved in the church, at one point tried going down to Mexico to help build a church for a small village. He ended up starting his own construction company which ended up going under and when I last talked to him a few months ago he told me he was working as a project manager. Our local bad girl is actually my neighbor. During her last two years of high school both her parents passed away from vastly different illnesses. She shut herself away for a while after. Now she can't keep her job to support herself because she's still permanently trapped in that bad girl attitude from how much they spoiled her that she has to rely on her brother two states over to pay for her food and apartment. One of them became an accountant. I met him on a train to the city a few years after school. Well dressed, quiet, and serious. Went to private school so our version of a bad girl was also the class president. But anyhow, onto the story. A few years ago I receive a message from a friend with a newspaper article. This girl got arrested for running an underground sex ring. She would find and lure in young teenager girls, drug them and then her and her boyfriend would rape the girls. They held parties where all this went down. Apparently they were part of a whole group of people. Then the two fled the country after they plead guilty. They were eventually found on a farm where they were working as farm hands. Now I can't find any stories to say what happened, but if I remember correctly my friend told me she was deported. The group he was in got into a car crash killing one of them. He was the one driving but the oldest one took the blame. The poor girl almost was paralyzed at the waist down and still took the blame for him because he just got his license. They all have almost fully healed since then. It's been a year or so. He is still trying to live as a musician, but in reality being sustained by his father mother and living with them. She got pregnant with 17, did not finish school, had the baby, went back to school, and finished it. Her family sustains her and the baby since the father disappeared. She struggles with raising the kid, trying to go to parties and work, earning less than the cost for education food for the kid alone. They are both over 30 now. All this from social media. My best friend was the school bad girl, dated guys in their 20s when she was in high school, did drugs, did not deal well with authority, etc. She's had her ups and downs, like getting arrested during her third wedding, but now she's in law school in Hawaii. I didn't find out until well into high school it was me. I started going to private school freshman year and got ghosted by my friends. Had no idea why, but at a party in our town. I rarely went to parties. I saw one and asked what the deal was. Apparently, his mom called all of our friends moms and told them I was a bad influence and I needed to be excluded from hanging out with them. So one mom cost me 95% of my childhood friends. So, I'm well, married, no kids, no plan on having kids, own a home, work in advertising, didn't finish college, but didn't need to. I stay fit, my wife is beautiful, we're healthy, and happy. As for the friends, two dead from odds, one cashier at a liquor store who lives with his parents, one moved to Germany to be a European homeless person, one convicted of sexual assault, one pizza delivery driver addict, one just disappeared at around 17. I guess his father worked in the state government and when he was busted with drugs they just sent him away. No social media or contact with anyone. At one point I asked his sister and she just said she didn't want to talk about it. He could literally be dead and we'd never know. One was an internet pioneer. In that, before he was 20 he was facing federal trafficking charges for selling drugs online. And that about covers it. So it's clear to everyone I was the problem. He's addicted to fentanyl now. He's facing charges for beating his mom up for not giving him money so he'll be going away for a while. I used to be best friends with the bad boys in grade school then we entered high school. We started drifting apart after being placed in different sections but all in the same grade. One is a registered nurse with a family of his own now. Married a doctor and they just had a baby. He's a frontliner for our city's regional hospital that catered to COVID-19 patients. Bless him. One became a dad too early. Got fat. Took his sweet time to graduate from college and he barely did graduate. But he's wiser now and we're happy he's on the right track. The other one was a drug addict when we entered college and last I heard he's still one. No one's seen him since 2016. I'm hoping he's okay. 
we had a couple of them where I lived. One found a girlfriend that rescued him from his bad habits. I knew her in passing. And he's really lucky to be dating her. The second dropped out of a crappy college. Went through rehab. Got his life together. And is. Last I heard. Back in school learning. The third was the cliche bad ending. Abandoned the other two. Got arrested a couple of times for drugs and petty theft. And I haven't heard of him since. I would not consider myself a bad boy myself but I was hanging around with that group of friends anyway. One of them is once again sent into a rehab home due to drug addiction for like the fifth time. Another working his butt off on the weeks, partying and doing coke on the weekends. Last time I spoke with one of the girls, seems like she pretty much just isolate herself at home with the rent paid by her mom. Everyone else that was a part of this group has moved away from here and I have no idea how they are doing nowadays but I hope and I guess they are doing fine as they've apparently felt done here. I do know one of them has a child. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.